What is up, bozos? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome to another wheel spin video where I get to spin the wheel spins and see what random car I get and a random budget. And then, of course, afterwards, I'm gonna have to build it for something. So, I have race, rally, drag, drift, rock crawling, and also some cross country as well for our build um, for today. So, it'll land on either one of those. If you guys are new to the series and you don't know what's happening, I guess keep uh, keep up with this video. But uh, yeah, also if you're new to the channel, subscribe because it helps out a lot. Now, like I said, we will spin a video. I also have barely any money left over because I'm now I'm now a brokey like all the rest of you guys. Um, <laughs> I barely have any wheel spins left. However, however, I can actually claim I have so many of these rewards, like daily rewards, that I haven't claimed for like the past couple of months. So I'm going to wait until I have, like, almost no money left over, and then I'll claim all of those. But we'll see. Hopefully I get something out of the wheel spins. Imagine I spin all of my wheel spins out, and I get absolutely nothing. Basically. Oh, please. Please, 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 please. Please. Oh, no. This is what I'm worried about. If I spin these wheel, these wheel spins and I only get money, like, it's, it's all over. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, we got a car. <laughs> what is this? It's cool. I like the Holden Sun, but, but it's just it's weird. It's just such a weird car. Right, add it to my garage. Our next spin is now going to determine the budget that I can use on this car. 100k! Okay, we'll take it. I'll take 100k with the whole hotel. I wanted to call it a hotel. A Holden Sun, man. Cool. Um, I don't think... What am I doing? EFGH. I don't know why I clicked on that. I don't think I've ever driven it. Uh, I've picked it. But I don't know if I've ever driven this car properly in this game, ever. Uh, obviously, back in, I think, Horizon 3, maybe, when this car was released initially. I did there, but... What an awkward car. What a weird, weird car. It's like a ute that has, like, a box that... Why is it? it looks like a hearse, man. <laughs> oh my god, it's like a boat. I feel like this thing is going to just topple over. What can I build it? I mean, we have 100 grand, which is a lot of money to spend on a build. What am I going to build it for? What am I going to build it for? The, I'm tabbing out because every time I go to spin this wheel spin... Okay, I'll just press it. It's just really, really laggy, so I can't actually show it up on the screen. Oh, Okay, well... It landed in the middle of drag. It has to be a drag build. Okay, well, a hundred grand for the salmon. I feel like we could... I'm trying to think, right? Tires are going to be very expensive, or wheels just in general, because we're going to have to give this thing some super, super wide wheels. First of all, I don't know how wide we can actually go on the rear. That is horrendous. Two fifteens are the widest wheels we could... Surely not. Sh wait, one sec, I'm going to change my actual wheels. Can we actually just... I'm going to change to whatever, an ADV wheel. Okay, is this literally it? Bro, please. Is there any, like... One sec, abandon setup. There's no, like, wide body kits or body kit presets. For this thing. So I can have, like, really wide wheels. <sighs> oh, this is gonna suck. What the hell? <laughs> this is gonna be so bad. I know it's going to be bad because we can give it... I feel like we can give this car quite a decent amount of power. Track width, maybe. We're pretty much stuck with 215s all around. That is disgusting. I can't believe we're literally stuck with just 215s all around. I have to make it all-wheel drive as well. I can't even keep it rear-wheel drive or else this thing is just going to struggle like crazy. As for the engine swaps, we have so many different engine swaps. We actually can't even put this one on. We have 100 grand to spend and we can't even put that one on. What's the best one? I guess the 3 liter, right? The 3 liter would probably probably be the best. This one here. All the rest of them. The 6.5 liter V12. How much power does this thing actually make? Wait, I think I can check anyway. If I do that. Oh, we twin turbo it. We're at 75k. And then we upgrade everything. Fifteen hundred horsepower. I think this is actually the better engine. Oh my god, it's 
Wait, we can't. We can't even do that. That's literally all that I can do with this car. Jesus. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, what about this engine? What about the the 2J, I guess, which is what people are calling it. How much power can we squeeze out of this thing? Whoopsies. Do that. 1270. I'm going to be at 84k. Do I want to pick this thing? I feel like I, nah, nah, no, 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 no. We have to pick the V12. I can't believe we're putting a, a Lamborghini V12 in this thing. That's just stupid. That is just dumb. Um, yeah, I'm obviously gonna try and get rid of a bunch of weight as well. Uh, we'll see what that's like. Um, weight reduction shouldn't really be part of the budget, is what people are saying. So we could try and do weight reduction afterwards. And uh, I feel like, especially since we got rid of so much weight by doing this, should I just leave these on? Because this is technically, this is technically like visual changes and it's just removing stuff. So technically it shouldn't be part of our budget, right? That's what people were telling me before. I remember before people were saying like removing weight, basically just getting rid of weight. Maybe this one, the race weight, because this te technically would end up stripping down the interior, right? It'll get rid of any insulation or anything like that. This is like race weight reduction. This is just removing stuff from it, right? I guess this is it, right? And then now, after I install all this, I can go and do the weight reduction and just basically getting rid of parts off the car. Am I right in saying that? Hopefully I am. Anyway, you guys can let me know down in the comments below. But that's it. That's our budget. 99,600. Initially, like I said, I would have just done everything under the budget. Weight reduction and all that sort of stuff. But people were obviously telling me in the comments that I should do it differently. Um... Yeah, the tires are the widest they can go. <laughs> Two 15s, which is a joke, to be honest, but that's as wide as we can go. Lots of power. Okay, let's go with it. 99,600. We pretty much spent all of it. There was nothing else that I could really spend my money on in, uh, in that list. And now, like I said, with weight reduction, I can obviously do all this, and you can see it's going to be part... It's not going to be part of the original budget, but it's going to do... Uh, it's going to basically just change this thing. So weight reduction, I'm just going to do that. And then again, it's a visual change, but it's it's technically it's technically weight reduction. So I'm going to do a little cowl, I guess. Um, I guess that's it. Right? We've reduced a little bit of the weight as well, but I mean, there's nothing really else that's changed apart from that. But weight reduction has gone down by a lot. 1,300 kg is very good. More than a 1 to 1 power to weight ratio. I have more power then it does have weight. Uh, again, like I said, the transmission is fine. We can adjust that. And then the diff as well. We're going to have to fully lock acceleration on the diff. I'm going to have to work on this. Usually I like it to be a slightly more rear bias. So we're probably going to work around 79% and then everything else. I'm going to have to go do a couple of runs myself just to have a look at the gear ratios and set everything up as well. But for now, that's pretty much our build. You know what I'm going to do actually? I'm gonna go ahead and slap a bit of a, a bit of a design on this thing. Something something different. Something different. I definitely want to put my logo on it because my logo is kind of sick. What kind of colors there are for this thing? Hmm. There's a lot of different shades. There's a lot of different colors for, for this guy. I actually really like most of these. To be honest with you. Should I go with like the full lime green? Even the lime green looks good. It looks like so American. But obviously it isn't because it's holding. But you can tell how it's been influenced by by American muscle cars. I kind of want to pick the lime green. It's just funny the way it stands out like that. Even the wheels have left them alone. Yeah, I think some people would have said that even the wheels I could have changed to, to do that. Alright, I'm going to slap my logo on the back of this thing. Just so it goes faster. It, it, it instantly adds extra speed to it as soon as I slap my logo on it. For people that want to use it, go ahead and check it out. Wait a sec, I'll show it to you real quick here. Um, let's go over to the back. Boom. Uh, load vinyl group. There it is, right here. You can uh, you can look it up and download it. I don't even know how you can, but you can. And uh, there you go. That's what it looks like. <laughs> it's so, why is it so widescreen? And I made it really, really high res as well. So I made it absolutely massive, so you guys can can do that and just slap it on. You can even make it like fully invisible if you just put it to zero. But as long as I get the uses for it, it'll be good for my. Uh, for my accolades, pretty much. 
for me to try and get as many people as possible to use this. Alright, well, let's get going with this thing and finally race it. What a weird sound to hear coming from this thing. Jesus. It does want to shoot forward pretty quickly. I mean, it's built at the top of S1. This is just not going to... I know this is not going to be anywhere near competitive to anything. That's why I don't really care what class it was even built for. Um, but yeah, I think... I think we should go for like the swallowest track. Why not? Let's go for this thing. Let's see what it's uh, it's capable of doing. Alright. Well, let's slap this there. Go in. And then I need to now start to build this thing slowly. Uh, I need to mess with my gear ratios, I need to do multiple runs until I'm kind of kind of happy with it. With the way it launches and everything. And then I guess I'll show you guys what it's like afterwards. So, I'll be right back. I think that was one of my better runs. Um, I don't think I can go much faster than this. 13.6 here. With this thing. It just doesn't have as much oomph at higher speeds. Like, it just... Like, off the line, it shoots off really nicely. Very smooth. And then... At the top end... Look, you can just see it. How it's just slowing down at accelerating. 200... 210... Like, it's just slowing down its acceleration as it gets up to speed, so... It just doesn't have as much... as much power at the top end. Like I said, off the line, really good. It shoots off really nicely. I can't even beat whoever this is that's my rival, but... Yeah, I don't know what else I could possibly do to this thing. I could probably get it to go slightly faster. Like, ever so slightly faster. Even better gear changes, maybe. I could probably try and do that, but... This is about as good as I can make it. This is about as good as I can make it, in my opinion. I don't think I can do it much faster. That was a bit slower. Um, maybe short shifting. This this does have quite a bit of torque. We can pr I can probably try. Let's try short shifting. See if it's slower or quicker. And by short shifting, I mean just before red line. See if that's that's better or worse. I haven't actually tried this yet. Seems slower. It seems a little bit slower. Yeah, it is. So yeah, just about the red line. I think that's that's what I should short shift or not short shift, just shift in general. So if I can get all my points correctly. Just around there. I think now it should be. I think I'm. I. Yeah, I misclicked on one of my gears. I think it was like first, second. I let it hit limiter. So I messed up. That's about it. I, I can't do anything else with this thing. <laughs> I've messed around with so many different things. Made a damper stiffer, just everything, 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 everything. I tried to just mess around to try to get the thing to be quicker and I just can't. Yeah, it just slows down. When you get when you get quicker and quicker, it just ends up slowing down, so I just I don't see this actually going well if I just keep going because there's nothing I can really do. So, let's move on to our second build for today. Let's have a quick look. Um, I mean, I have three super wheel spins, which is what I usually end up doing. So hopefully I get a car in the first one. If, I, if we get multiple cars, then the car that's the furthest to the... Or the speed that would say. The car that's the furthest to the left will be our car that we're using. And then, obviously, the rest of them will be the budget for the build. So let's try and hopefully get a car. We have one more. Come on, game. Don't, don't mess with me here. Don't mess with me here. Please give me a car. Okay. Okay, tw an escort, and we have 21 grand. I 
don't think this is gonna go well at all. I don't think this is gonna go well. Because I, I have a feeling that this could... This could give me, like, something really bad to try and build. Um, we have a few of these. I actually really like this Escort. It's, it's a very good car. But I honestly feel like this thing is going to struggle with whatever the game decides to give it to me. Because if it gives, if it gives me, like, rock rolling or something... Sounds so good from the inside as well. I remember I made a video on this thing, I'm pretty sure, ages ago. It's just a little rally car. It sounds great. So raspy. That exhaust. Okay. Well, now I have to spin the actual wheel spin off screen and see what exactly will I be building this thing for. Please, please, please don't do anything stupid. It's gonna be like rock crawling or something, just watch. Oh, for God's sake, man. <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? I've actually had also a couple of people in, uh, in some of my previous videos basically complain to me, saying that I should remove rock crawling from the list. But no, that's what makes it fun. Obviously, building cars that are not supposed to be built for rock crawling, for actually doing rock crawling. So it's, that's why I'm, it's fun to keep it there in the thing. Right, so with 21 grand, I need to somehow make this thing all-wheel drive so I can pull myself up this mountain or hills or whatever it is that I'm going to go up against. And I need more power. Is this the only thing that I can do here? Just do these two mods and that's it? I think I have to. I genuinely think I have to. And then the other thing that I can think of is maybe... I don't know, because tires, I can't really do anything. Maybe track width? I don't know if that'll help with my grip off-road. It's, 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 it's just over. It's over. I literally have 1,000 extra credits to spend. This is the only thing that I can think of to spend my credits on. There's nothing else. There's literally nothing else that I can spend my credits on. Weight reduction I'll do afterwards, like I said. we just get rid of some weight, and hopefully that helps, but... I don't know. Since this is a rally car, though, I feel like we should have a lot of the things unlocked for it. I just don't have the power. Nor will I have the grip. Like, swapping over tires as well, especially if I want to put these tires on, it's immediately 10 grand. You know? And I can't leave it as a rear-wheel drive because it's just not going to make it up anything. If I do end up doing, just keeping a rear-wheel drive, like rock crawler, it just won't work at all. It has to be all-wheel drive. Like, it has rally tires, but that's it. So there it is. That's our build. I'm going to go ahead and give it the weight reduction afterwards now. And that's it. Like, there's literally nothing else that I can possibly do here. I don't really need brakes. The only thing I really needed was... <sighs> I don't know. Weight reduction, the only thing I can think of weight reduction being useful here. Because some people were saying, like, keep the weight because it actually kind of helps when you're rock crawling. Yeah, maybe for big vehicles. But for small vehicles like this, do you think it still helps? I don't know. You know what, I'll leave it like that. Yeah. Like I said, because it's a rally car, we can pretty much adjust everything we want. So, let's try and adjust. As soft as possible. Gear ratios. I mean, we need acceleration with this thing as, as much as possible. Just slight camber. Ever so slight camber for both the front and the rear. Anti-roll bars, we have to go as soft as possible. Springs, ride height. Let's bring that, jack that up as high as possible. Uh, rebound stiffness, right? We need our rebound stiffness to be high, but our bump stiffness to be low, right? That's that's how this works for rock rolling. Well, not high, but like higher. Because we need to make it so our wheels touch the ground at all times. I can't have them like hover over the ground. And I guess locked if, right? There's nothing else that I can I can think of here. This is pretty much it. I make it. I think sixty percent is fine actually. Oh my god, this is going to struggle so hard. There's going to be areas of this that I know are just going to be awful. I think the one that I can think of doing... I think the one on the rally expansion is probably going to be the better one. So I'm going to go over to that one. Because the one on the main map here that we have is just not going to happen. So I think the canyon one is probably going to be the better choice here. 
like I said, the one that we have on the main map here is just... Wait, what? Why don't you just send me over to the... I hate when it does that. Rally adventure. The one on the main map is a lot more difficult. It has really, really steep inclines that you need a lot of, like, power to, like, push yourself through. Whereas I think the ones on the canyon uh, run, whatever it's called here, basically the, the rally expansion, it's a little bit more tame. I don't think it's as bad. But it is very technical, and you need a really small car, which this was perfect for, right? You need a, you need a small car to get into spaces. This this car is perfect for it. But the thing is, though, because it's so light, um, I think it might get thrown around a lot. <laughs> We've had cars like this before, obviously, really small cars or cars that are made to go on the road. I mean, this is technically a rally car, so it should be a little better than those cars. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. There's there's no telling. I've never taken like an actual rally car. Uh, rock crawling, so we'll see. Especially something that's incredibly underpowered. Back, Thank you, Anna. Thank you. All right, let's uh, let's head up this thing and see what we can do. All right, we're in it. Let's go for it. Let's see what it's like. It is pretty tracked up though, especially with the lift kit. It's a little slow. Okay, it does have the grip, which is a good thing, of course. Oi, it's doing okay. It's a little small and a little, a little low to the ground, so it, I think I might get it stuck in some things here and there, but... Overall, it's doing a good job. There's cars that got stuck up here before. Okay, that was... I'm really impressed. We've done about 19% of the... Oh, Jesus. Be careful now. It's only done about 19% of the run, but... <laughs> I'm trying to see it to the right and the thing just smashed straight into the wall. Okay. Now nice and easy. Over the rocks. Yeah, it's just way too low to the ground to be doing this, but I mean... If this is what the game wants, this is what the game wants. <laughs> what am I stuck in? There's like a rock somewhere, right? Oh, this was a bit of a shambles here sometimes. Some cars. Yeah. Oh, please. Oh. Surely I'm not stuck, right? What am I stuck on? Stuck on like a rock or something. I'm trying to get away from it, I can't. Hello? <laughs> what the hell? What am I stuck on? Fully locked if it's not it's not actually locked. Why does it feel like it's sick? Oh, oh. Maybe I can get it to like somehow like jump like just Should I just leave it alone? Do you think it'll just push me out? I don't really know what I'm stuck on. Maybe the thing that's You know what? We'll just do that. Maybe the rock that's underneath me! Oh my god, it actually spawned me up here. I didn't actually mean for it to spawn me up there. That's fine. We'll, we won't abuse it. We won't abuse it! Oh my god, I slapped it into reverse and just shot back. Alright, careful now. That's good. That's good. We're safe. We're safe. We made it. We made it. Come on. Nice and easy on the path. What is it doing? Bro, car, chill. What are you doing? We were fine where we were before. How does it do that? I don't understand how. I was gonna say, if you throw me. Nope. No. <laughs> nope. 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 I, I don't agree with that. W whatever you just did to me, Kara. 
Why is it so adamant of... This car is so dumb. Why is it so... Or whatever, this track is so dumb. It's so adamant on getting me stuck on that one rock that I was just on before. What is going on? Yeah, bring me up here. Because that makes no sense how I'm sliding off like that. That's fine. As long as I'm like... Come on. Bring me over on the dirt. You bitch. No! Oh! Stop putting me back on that rock! <laughs> what the fuck? It wants to throw me off this rock so bad. Speed and power, speed and power, speed and power. Mm, okay. Why are you going to the left? I'm not steering to the left. Oh, car. Oh. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm so confused. Look how easy that was! Oh, Jesus. It was so easy. I don't know why it struggles so much. Oh, no, please don't. Okay. Yeah, because it's so low, I, I need, like, speed and power with this thing. Speed and power, speed and power, speed and power. Okay, I need to go back a little bit here. And then... Come on! Come on! Come on! Yes! Yes! Come on, show me all the torque. Oh, Jesus. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Put a track, uh, launch control, maybe that'll help. Oh, that, that helped a lot. That actually helped so much. I'm gonna do that from now on. I'm just gonna use my launch control. Oh my god. Oh god, Kyra, you have to relax. Okay, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Look, it's, it's, it's going over this with no issues. That's good. Oh, it's going over this. No issues. No! <laughs> Spoke! Too soon. Okay, careful. Just don't go towards the edge. No! No! I'm gonna try just stay in chase cam here. Stay as far to the left as I possibly can. How am I stuck on? Come on, launch control. Come on! I think I need power here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Nice and easy. Easy. Oof. Almost halfway done. Try not to mount that rock, please. Thank you. I'll take the left a little bit. Very good. Nice. Okay. That was that was clean. Uh, I have to go to the right here, right? Yeah, I do. I've had many cars struggle here before. This thing has no issues whatsoever. Got over it instantly. Yeah, I think the size of this thing helps a lot. As much as it gets thrown around quite a bit, the because it's so small, um, it seems to it seems to do really really well. Oh. Why is it driving forward? Mm, no. No. <laughs> I'm so happy the rewinds are here. I'm so happy, you have no idea. It just fell off this rock that's next to me and it pushed me forward so, so hard. Okay. 
See, it's like sliding off. Bro, car, please. Okay. Nice. Nice. Oh, what is it doing? It's okay. Do I need more speed? Maybe. The gap is fine. Yeah, we've had a bit of struggle here before with with this gap, but okay. I'm just trying to use launch control to maybe go through it. Oh yeah, this is where that stupid. Okay, nice. We got past it. It was with that stupid bushes in like inside the rock where it kind of like gets you stuck. It like pushes you backwards. So as long as I get past that. Oh, Gucci. Nice. This It's doing a really good job. I expected so much worse from this thing. But it seems to be handling this route very nicely. Okay. That's a <laughs> straight up just crashed into that rock. Okay. Nice. Careful. Nice. Easy. Okay. Yep. Yep. That's good. That's very good. And we're done. Did it like an absolute champ. What a car. What a car. Something that I never expected to, to take rock crawling would be a little Ford Escort. But it did a really good job. I'm happy with it, honestly. For 21 grand, we're listening to make it up like this with no issues. Basically no issues. I rewound it a couple times because I kind of drove off. I mean, it slides you off really easily. Unless you have like big chunky tires that'll help you. It slides you off pretty easily. Okay, I'm happy with that. Thank you for watching today's video, everybody. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this on the channel, as usual, subscribe. If you like the content and all that. But yeah, this was another wheel smooth video, which I somehow managed to make work. I mean, the drive belt wasn't even that bad. Like, it, it's it's not fantastic. It's not great. Because you can definitely get it many, many faster cars, especially in S1. But I mean, for the car that we got, I feel like I've done an alright job. And then this thing, absolutely conquered a mountain. It's just, it's just so easy for it, for whatever reason, but yeah, we've had some very weird cars in the past to, to take rock crawling. This is actually one of the easier ones, which I'm pretty, pretty impressed with. Alright, like I said, that's it. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.